Hey everyone, it's Quicken, and today's video is all about my hair care routine. I get a ton of questions about my hair, what is your haircut, what is your hair color, blah blah blah, and I'm gonna try to touch on all of those things. Products that I use, how I style, everything like that. Let's start in the shower. I try to shampoo my hair a couple times a week, probably three at the most. I do use a lot of styling products though, so when I'm in the shower, I am washing my hair. All is Black Malva by Aveda. And I really like Black Malva because it keeps my, my roots dark. And when I shampoo, I'm only shampooing my roots and I'm not really touching the ends where my balayage is. And that way I'm just cleaning any dirt and residue that's sitting right at my roots and leaving the rest of my hair kind of whatever. So Black Malva Shampoo adds cool tones to dark shades of hair and discourages red tones in medium and dark shades. So I try not to wash my whole hair with this just because underneath this blue is blonde, but I do like keeping my base really dark and healthy. But I only use this for my first shampoo. I shampoo twice in the shower. My first shampoo is always Black Malva right at the root. Second shampoo, um, I usually wash my hair between these two and this is scalp benefits by Aveda and then color conserve by Aveda and I get a lot of questions like what shampoo can I use for my hair my uh, my color processed hair and I always say a sulfate free shampoo you don't necessarily have to go as high-end as Aveda um, but I do really like the color conserve it is really soft and really gentle on color treated hair this is what we use at my school for people who just got the color services, and I really like it. I did have to get used to using a sulfate-free shampoo, though, just because I'm used to, the, used to the traditional, like, deep shampoo with lots of bubbles and suds and lots of cleansing. You won't experience that much with a sulfate-free shampoo. However, it does take a little getting used to. You are washing your hair, and you're like, this nothing's happening but that's the best for color treated hair and my quick disclaimer if you are using cheap shampoo dollar three dollar shampoo I really 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 recommend switching it up to something more high-end when I started using like more high-end products I use a lot less of them at a time and I experience more of a payoff whereas when I was using like just cheapy shampoo, I was using a lot at a time because there's a lot of filler and detergents in your shampoos. So in order to, you know, get what you really want from the shampoo, you have to, you end up using a lot more. I always recommend my clients to anybody switch to something more high end. So color conserve is what I use every other shower. And then I use scalp benefits. So Scalp Benefits is a balancing shampoo, and I love the way it smells. I just want to smell it really quick. Oh. So Scalp Benefits is a balancing shampoo, and what that means is because I do use a lot of products, a lot of dry shampoo, a lot of hairsprays, my scalp does get irritated, itchy, I experience dandruff. So every other shampoo, I try to shampoo with the balancing shampoo. This isn't necessarily like a dandruff shampoo. It doesn't have any active ingredients, it's all natural, but it does bring a lot of clarity to my hair and a lot of clarity to my scalp. This also has a conditioner that I like to use, and it's a conditioner that can go directly on the scalp. It's really light and nice and smells amazing, and it's great for me, for a person who does experience like scalp distress, especially in the winter. Um, this did take about six weeks for me to notice any difference. It does take a little while, especially when you're transitioning into like natural products or higher end products. There is kind of like a, a month or two where you have to get used to everything. Every week I try to deep condition with a deep conditioning mask. And this is important for me because I do like a lot of heat styling to my hair. I do, I put a lot of products in my hair and my hair is lightened so weekly treatments are key right now i'm using the dry remedy moisturizing mask also from aveda i just have a lot of aveda products i get them from school 
but I would say all of your favorite lines probably have a mask, a hair mask for you to use. For a while I was using the macadamia mask and I really like that and I really like this right now, Dry Remedy. And then I also use, sometimes I use this Color Conserve Conditioner. I do think that this is a little too thin for my hair, so I'll usually use this as like a filler if I'm like mixing. So what I like to do in the shower is I will probably like twice a week refresh my um, my kind of blue green color. And the way I do that, like little containers that I bought from Sally's, I haven't used this one yet. And they're just like kind of empty containers. And then I'll put my color into this container and I'll mix it with conditioner. And then I'll mix that all up and then I kind of just comb it through my hair with my fingers and I'll flip my head upside down and I'll paint until I get to the front and then I'll flip it back upside down, back upright, and then go through it. And then with like a shower comb or my tangle teaser, I'll just like comb through. And usually I'll let that sit on there for like 10 minutes as much as I would just like a deep conditioning. So usually I'll just mix this with deep conditioner and just skip that whole step. I feel like that brings me the best results that's what I used to do with my red hair and every but that was every day because red was a little harder to maintain for me so just mixing a little bit of your color with your conditioner can be really helpful especially if you don't have a ton of time to dedicate to your color hair you can always just like lightly refresh it in the shower that's what I do that's what I did yesterday and it's not super vibrant but it does kind of, it does prevent fading. I have like 10 extra minutes in the shower. I'll always run that like color conditioning mask through. This is just the box, is Color Brilliant um, Ion. And I get questions all the time about my color. Where can I get this color? Can I get this color at CVS, blah, blah, blah. If you want professional color, either buy professional products or go to a salon to get it professionally done. I know someone asked me, they're like, hey, there's a lightning kit at CVS with blue, is that what you use? I was like, no, don't, don't use box dye. Don't use box dye from CVS ever. Box dye has metal and metallic salts and all of these things in it that you do not want on your hair. If you use box dye and then decide to get professional color done, you're going to have to have your color stripped. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be expensive. I just say either go to a salon, go to a school. Our school only charges $25 per, for professional hair color. And it's a beta, so it's all natural and blah, blah, blah. Or go to Sally's or Cosmoprof and get color. So this is from Sally's. And I do get a professional discount at Sally's, so I paid like $2 for this, but I think retail it's like 5 so that's not a crazy thing. $5 is cheaper than Manic Panic, is cheaper than whatever the box dye is at CVS. So, and I bought this in July, so I've had this for about 6 weeks, and I'm not even done with it. So I really recommend Color Ion. A couple things about it, you can tell that these are not the same color, but I also mix my color with conditioner every time I apply it. This does not need a developer. This goes straight on your hair, straight out of this bottle. You do not need a second step. You can paint this right on your head. Your hair does have to be pre-lightened. I had my hair lightened professionally at Richard Nicholas Salon in Philadelphia. Um, some of my friends work there, I really recommend it. I had Josie, she was amazing. I had my hair pre-lightened, and then I did this color to my hair myself. So I did not do this balayage. My hair um, probably lifted to about a level nine. So if your hair is like a natural blonde, you could do this. If your hair is like a natural seven, eight, nine, ten. This will show up on your hair, but it will show up to different degrees unless your hair is lightened to about a level 10, which is like, blonde is blonde. The thing about this blue is it does stain, and it stains my scalp, and it stains my hands, and it stains my nail beds. So 
If you are the least bit responsible, just put on gloves if you're doing it. Or kind of base your head. I'll base my head in like whatever is in the shower, like other shampoo. Just like kind of base it. Tra like trace your ear just so you don't go somewhere and you got like a little bit of blue on your ear. Or whatever, because it does really stain. But again, when I had red hair, it would stain my nail beds too. I just didn't have as much of an issue with it staining my face and scalp. But if you don't care about that stuff, I don't. It is ruining my towels and my bathroom, but it's fine. One more thing I want to say about this is I experience different color results when I apply it to wet hair versus dry. When I put it on dry hair, it is a little bit more vibrant than when I paint it on my hair in the shower. So if you have time to paint it on your dry hair, I would say just clean your hair first, let it dry overnight, whatever different color results. I think brushes are so important. I love brushes. Go buy yourself a nice brush. You'll be happy you did. So this is my round brush. It's by Chi. And I bought this at Ulta. I originally bought this to use at school and then it never made its way to school. So I use it at my house and it's good if you want to give yourself like a nice blowout, put your hair in sections, comb it, brush it. I don't use this as much as I wish I did because I don't have all that time. But if I ever take clients at my house or something, if, I would probably use this. My everyday brush that I use is by Brush Lab and it's called Diamond Wood Premium Bore Nylon Brush. I love this brush. It has the natural bore bristle and then it's just a nice paddle brush. I use this for every day. I would say wash your brushes like once a week. Um, a lot of dirt comes out of there and you can see better results. Don't brush your hair every day with the same old dirt that you brushed out of it. I try to wash this all the time and you can see that it's like turning blue. I just washed it yesterday. There's nothing I can do about that blueness. I love that brush. And then this is my teasing brush and this like is just some no name from a beauty supply store. One end has this nice sharp point for parting, and then the rest is good for teasing. I like teasing for updos, and I also like teasing if I'm gonna have this like big, like poof up front. I think teasing is great. This brush was like 50 cents, and I've had it since middle school, I swear. But you know, clean this thing, clean all your brushes, and Having one of these around is great, especially like if you do updos all the time and you want to have a straight part, but it's also good for like getting in your brush and cleaning out any hair and bacteria that builds up in here. This, these two. Clean your brushes. So yeah, this is by Aveda. But this is Brilliant Damage Control. And what I like about this is when I get out of the shower, I spray this on my wet hair, no matter what, no matter how I'm styling my hair, if I'm letting it air dry. I always spray this because this is a detangler and a heat protectant. I think everyone should have a heat protectant at their house, spray it on all the time, even if you're like, oh, my hair is natural, oh, my hair, like, I don't blow dry it, blah, blah, blah. Environmental damage is real. I live in a city, there's smog and rain and dirt and the sun. All of these things impact your hair. So just spray something on it and protect yourself from the sun and the car exhaust and all of that stuff. And I've been using Psst brand for years and years. I love this stuff. It's pretty basic. I buy mine at Ulta, but I've seen it at the drugstore before. Um, this probably lasts me like two months. It really does last a minute. And it says not test on animals right on there. So it takes all the guesswork out of there for you. But Seriously, I love this stuff. I can spray it on my hair. Even if my hair is clean, if I need like some grip to my hair so I can put it up, I'll spray this on there too. A couple days of this on my head though does irritate it. So I would say you can probably only use this like three days in a row before you get a little itchy in the head. I did buy a couple hairsprays on my Ulta haul video. And a couple of you guys nicely and not nicely told me that Redken 
was not a cruelty-free brand. I did buy some of those products just because I am in the beauty industry and I need to like try things out so I can recommend them to clients. I do like to offer like a non-biased view. I don't always want to be like, well, I'm vegan, so I don't know. So I did want to buy some of those products to test them out. I should have done a little more research. Some of you guys are right. So I am back to my Aveda and this is air control hairspray and I like this stuff. It goes on really nice and like when I put on hairspray, I like to put on hairspray that like I can like put on and kind of manipulate but then like I can still touch and like still have like regular hair. So this is good for that. Like sometimes I'm looking for like a strong crunch but then sometimes I just like like my hair like this. Just like spray a little bit back and forth. And I like this. I like medium hold hairsprays. Um, I do have like some harder hold hairsprays, but then again, I'll, I'll spray them and then I'll go back in my hair and like run my fingers through it to kind of separate some of the pieces so I don't look so crunchy head. All the styling tools that I use are, I just have like a really basic blow dryer for my house. This is seriously, um, this is just a Con Air blow dryer. You may have seen this. My mom had the same blow dryer when I was growing up. I just found this in John's uh, underneath his sink. Apparently it was his sister's, but I don't think she minds that I use it. I really like this blow dryer because it has really high voltage, so I can get it done if I need to. But what I look for in blow dryers is a cool shot setting. And I set all of my hairstyles with a cool shot. If I curl my hair, if I blow dry it, if I straighten it, I'll always go back over it with a cool shot. When you apply heat to your hair, it opens your cuticle and cold air closes the cuticle and it gives you a nice, nice shine and it keeps environmental damage out of your open cuticle. Close it up, keep all the bad vibes out. Cool shots are very important. That's what I look for in a blow dryer. And I also like having a concentrator on my blow dryer just because when I'm blow drying and I'm round brushing, I can just apply direct heat and get the job done. It's a couple looks with my wavy, like mermaidy hair. And the way I achieved that hair, you may have remembered when I bought this bad boy. And I freaking love this thing. So I burnt like the crap out of myself with it. I like burned my whole ear. It's still healing. And I have this like burn on my hand right there. So like this thing gets hot. I did not expect it to get that hot. But so if you're about to use one of these things, please put on a heat protectant and just sectioning out the hair, putting it in here, clipping it, waiting, unclipping it. And it came out amazing. Afterwards, cool shot, flip my hair upside down, hairspray, and that was it. It seriously took under 10 minutes, I swear. I do like my hair to look messy though, so I did not spend time perfecting it. But if you're like me, 10 minutes, and it's great. The hairstyle lasted for like two days with like very minimal touch up. Everybody loved it. Everyone was touching my hair. I just have like a really, just a straightener. I bought this at the mall. It was like, one of those stands where they have hair straighteners. Usually I don't fall for it, but I was all alone and the girl came up to me and she said, I love your shirt. And then I left with a straightener and I have a freaking green one. I really love it though. He's an oldie. I've had him since 2008, but what I like about him is these edges are kind of beveled so you can curl your hair. I have a video where I curl my hair with this and I like curling my hair with this more than I like my clipless curler. I'm not even going to show that guy because I barely use it. I like flat iron curls so much better. This thing gets as hot as the sun. I use it on more of a lower temp but I straighten my hair almost all the time and for every single day since 2008 using this, I think it's a really good buy. This is by Cortex. I recently googled this, they are still a company and their hair dry, their um, straighteners are way better than this thing, but I've had this thing for life. Some of my little routines, every weekend I do not do any heat styling to my hair at all. If I shampoo my hair on Friday, it is air drying and that is it until Sunday. One of my favorite hairstyles uses this clip and 
I tried my hardest not to be one of those beauty school girls who like has the clip in her hair. So I'll take my hair and I will just twist it around itself and then put this bad boy in it just like that and then I'll pull this open and I'll pull this forward and this is seriously one of my favorite hairstyles in life. I love it. I think it's trendy and like still like kind of messy like oh she doesn't care about anything. So that clip is one of my favorite things and I kind of like how it shows a little bit. I'm into that. And then I always have a hair tie just on my wrist at all times just in case. Sometimes I'll even put this bad boy up. Huh. So I know there have been some requests for me to do my favorite hairstyles and I would love to do that. I wanted to get this video out of the way though because a ton of people ask me about products that I use. Please use professional grade products. If you go to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, they usually have them on sale. Don't spend too much money if you don't want to, but please treat your hair well. And if you have any questions, let me know. If I didn't cover something that you were interested in, let me know and we can do a whole other video together. Yeah, thank you so much. Instagram, Snapchat, I'm there for you. And thank you to everybody who's been so kind about the video I posted yesterday. I love all of you guys so, so much. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know what you like. And yeah, until next time, bye!